I'm going to tell you exactly what to do after completing a cliff constraints assessment by utilizing three highly impactful strategies. And we're starting right now. Hey everybody, my name is Gordon and welcome to another episode. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning more about Clifton Strengths, leading a strengths-based life, and any and all other things leadership related, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so you've made that critical decision and you've decided to complete that Clifton Strengths assessment. I wanna take a moment here and I wanna just pause for a moment and I wanna congratulate you. I wanna tell you, excellent job. You're one step closer to increasing your productivity and your effectiveness. And if you haven't quite made that decision yet, that's okay. Watch this episode all the way until the end because I'm hoping that you find information in here that inspires you to take that action. Now, as I shared earlier in the episode, my goal on this show is to provide value and to help you go further faster in your professional and your personal life by giving you highly effective strategies and highly effective tactics that you can use. And Clifton Strengths is the basis for that work. Now, in a previous episode, which, and pardon me, but I'm still trying to figure out this whole YouTube thing, I'm gonna link it up on a card either on this side or a card on this side. I can never which one, remember which one it is. But in that previous episode, I was talking about how the first strategy tends to be something that is very, very obvious. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I always have to talk about it and I always have to spend time with it. And so we're going to talk about that again in this video as well. The other two strategies that we're going to talk about are ones that I believe are long-term personal game changers for you as strategies. They're going to give you the roadmap. They're going to give you the systems, the structures, the activities, the supports necessary to implement this strengths-based leadership, this strengths-based life moving forward for a long time. It's going to give you those tools and those resources. So be sure, be sure to stay around to the end of the episode to learn about those as well. And real quick, before we get further into the episode, tell me in the comments, what are your Clifton Strengths top five? What are your top five signature themes? And if you haven't taken your assessment yet, it's okay. There's going to be information below in the description that will give you access and resources to be able to get your assessment done. So strategy number one, critical. It can seem really simple, but again, it's critical. You've got to read your reports. So Gallup takes you through a pretty intensive battery of assessment items, 177, probably going to take you between 30 and 45 minutes. It's, it's time invested. It's time of your day. It's time in your life that you're investing in that. And as a result of that, you get a series of reports. And it's really important that you read those reports. Because over the last 50 plus years, Gallup has delved into the research on such a deep level into positive psychology and discovering the innate talents and skills and attributes of people that then when you receive that report, it is spot on. It tells you so much about yourself that you may or may not know, but that it then can help you aim the direction that you need to go. So those reports are really, really, really important. So once you get your assessment, those reports come out. One example is the signature themes report. Talks about a little bit of a lead in of how the report is structured. And then it gets into your signature themes, your top five. And what are those themes say to you? What are the key attributes, the key aspects? What are the things that you can grab onto and say, let me focus on that. Let me focus on that particular component of who I am. But that is just scratching the surface of what these reports provide to you. Because now this new information, this new knowledge has to then be cultivated and then has to be capitalized on. It then has to be utilized to increase your productivity, your effectiveness, your ability to lead, your ability to collaborate, your ability 
to team up with others, your abilities to thrive in relationships. So really, really understanding the power that lies in the words on the paper of those reports is seminal. It is the absolute foundation of everything that will then be built on in strategies number two and number three. So strategy number two, and one that I believe is critical for taking you to the next level from wherever you are starting today, strategy number two takes you to the next level. Hire a coach. Hire somebody or work with somebody who can provide you knowledge insight, experience, and feedback when you can't quite see it. Here's what coaches do better than anything. Coaches operate in your blind spots. There are things that you cannot see because you're too close to them. Let me give you a quick example. Let's imagine five years ago, seven years ago, you painted a wall white and you love your freshly painted white wall. And over the years, you continue to walk back and forth past that white wall. And then at some point you invite a friend over, somebody who you haven't seen in a while. You walk in and you say, hey, check out my closet. You see, I mean, we painted it white, it looks great. Your friend, because your friend's a straight shooter, friend says, hey Gordon, I don't know if you know, but that wall's yellow. Said, no, of course not, that wall's white. I painted it white myself. Another set of eyes looking from the outside in sees what you can't see because you are too close to it. This is what coaches do. They allow to, you to kind of step back and see the bigger, broader picture to then dive back in and go harder at something, go more strategically at something. Coaches are critically important to our growth and development as leaders. And so my charge to you is, do you have a coach? And if you don't have a coach, check out the description below, send me an email. I'd love to have a conversation with you to see if I could provide you that support, be that resource or be that guide for you. So check that description below, it's more information. Shoot me an email, love to have that conversation with you. Because coaches are critical to the growth and development of leaders. Another example. Whether it's Clifton Strengths or it's just overall leadership development and capacity building, whether it's getting coached on decision making, communication, dealing with difficult employees, managing up, down, and sideways, making sure that the people you report to, or the people that report up to you, or the people who you are colleagues with, those are all different assets that you're going to need to have that a coach can help you develop around. So seek out and hire a coach to support you. They will help you move further, faster in your goals and your plans. And last, but certainly not least, strategy number three. So strategy one, I'm just gonna take a second to recap here. Strategy one was read and understand and know what that report, those reports tell you about your strengths. Strategy number two is to hire a coach to help you begin to critically think, reflect, and develop a deeper understanding and knowledge around your talents, your themes, and eventually as you invest into them, your strengths. So strategy number three ties it together and it puts it concrete on paper. And that is developing concrete implementation plans. And when I say implementation plans, I'm talking about a 30-day plan a 90 day plan, a 180 day plan, a 365 de day, 365 day plan. This allows you to make incremental process over a sustained amount of time to let things not only be developed, but also to be implemented, to be checked, verified, strengthened, redeveloped, 
retooled, refocused, but having that plan that then is tied back to those reports, that's then tied back to the coaching conversations and the coaching relationship that's been developed helps you be more productive and be more effective in who you are. So I strongly, strongly encourage you to develop concrete plans with the support of a coach or with the extensive resources that are out there and available to you on the web, um, in your, in your pro professional development circles, so on and so forth. They're there, they're for you. But I strongly, strongly encourage you to make sure that whatever you plan, make it concrete, put it on paper, and let it guide you as you move forward. It is without question that Clifton Strengths can personally and professionally propel you forward. It can help you be more effective, it can help you be more productive, and utilizing these strategies, these high impact strategies, will help you learn the language, develop the habits, and the actions that will make that possible, will make that growth and make that progress possible. So remember that it's a journey. Remember it's a process. Don't be in a hurry. Strengths is not a sprint. It is in fact a marathon. And I want to encourage you to enjoy the journey along the way. There's so much that's great about you and what you bring and you have to spend the time enjoying discovering all those things about yourself. Because when you also remember that it is that journey, you will stay committed to the process because it's going to take time. But enjoy it because it's for you. Strength is for each of us. It empowers us. It affirms who we are. It challenges us to be better and then we can harness and honor what that is and how we move forward. The strength is for each of us. So remember, if you enjoyed this episode, give us a thumbs up, maybe leave us a comment, subscribe to the channel, share this episode with somebody who you think it might help, it might, uh, it might mentor, it might energize them to take their Clifton Strengths assessment, help them maybe seek out the services of a coach. So check out the description below for more information because we're ready and we're willing to help. I want to thank you for watching. It is such a privilege to serve this community. I see so many leaders now exploring and discovering their strengths and they're coming to me super excited about what they've learned and, and what they've implemented and how they now are talking to their teams and how they're displaying and, and demonstrating their strengths to the world and sharing that and they are enthusiastic and they're engaged and they're excited. And that excites me because this work is important. This work matters and you, you matter. I want you to be your best self every single day. Every time you leave and you go to work, every time you come home to your family, every time you are around loved ones, I want you to be operating at your best self and that is the goal of this channel is to help you find that again it's a privilege and it's an honor to serve you all i look forward to seeing you on the next one and please everyone be well thanks so much